back to the Demon Slayer Gamer Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wanderer's Palace. Now this dungeon does have kind of an overarching theme with very large Tonberry units that will chase your team down and will do significant damage to you if they reach you and can one-shot your teammates. So you'll want to proceed quickly through this dungeon. The first pool here is purely to inform you of this mechanic and it's not one that you would need to fight. The two treasure hunter units will serve as a decoy for the Tonberry and kind of hold it off to let you get ahead of it. So just continue to the right and start picking up units and proceed onward. Pug Pugles will do a cone AoE. As you proceed on, you will come across a couple enemies named Cog Oils. These units will do a small AoE around themselves. After you clear the area, then you'll come to the first boss, Keeper of Halidom. Now you will want to tank this boss facing away from the team, as he does do a few frontal cone abilities. The rest of your team should spread out around the arena, as he will turn at some points and use the inhale ability and pull in everyone who is in front of him. If whoever gets pulled in will need to move away as soon as possible as he does do a ton televised AOE around himself right after the inhale. And the healer can use Essena to clear off the heal reduction and poison abilities. He will also use Moldy Flume, which is a large circular AOE at a random party member that you will need to move out of. After the fight is over, you'll go ahead and click the Nimian device to open up the area to the next section. As you kill these Tonberries, they will drop Lantern Oil. You'll need to pick this Lantern Oil up to be used on the rusted Nimian devices in the next area. So make sure that you grab those. So you need to use one on the device to open up the door here. Use one on the device right front of you as you come into the third area, then proceeding up the stairs into the middle section, you'll find a regular Nimian device that will need to be activated. You will need to move past the Tomberry unit, down into the next section to the right with the other two Tomberries. These will also drop lantern oils that you would need to pick up. The corrupted Nimians are ranged units, so make sure that you are still hitting them with a few AoEs or breaking line of sight to try and get them to come closer to you. You'll use another lantern oil on the rusted Nimian device here in front of the door, and then proceed down the hall past the Tomberry towards the last device, which will open up the gate towards the second boss. The second boss, Giant Flavarius, will occasionally use a fire spell. You will also occasionally spawn adds around the room that you'll want to just pick up and kill really quickly. They do die very quickly, so it's not too much of a concern. And at some point in the fight, he will target a random party member, focus his eyes on them, which means he'll no longer be tankable. So you'll want to just fall in around and damage him as he chases after that party member. That party member should run away from him and to avoid getting hit with a large single target ability. Moving into the last area. Tom Barry again will spawn behind you after you move through here. So make sure you're picking up these units and then proceeding quickly. Make sure to pick up the lantern oils dropped by the Tom Berries. There should be one in the first pack. And then you'll get a second one from the second pack of Tom Berries right in front of the door. 
go use both of them to activate the two rusty, rusted Nimian devices in front of the door, opening the door to the final boss. The Tomberry King will spawn multiple Tomberry units around the room throughout the fight. The regular Tomberries can easily be ignored and should be. Every one of them that is killed will apply a stacking buff on the boss that he increases how much damage he does and that also increases how much damage one of his abilities will do that could potentially one-shot the entire party. So make sure that you're not killing the regular Tomberry adds. And just focusing down the Tomberry King. So if you want, mark him with a 1 to try and get your party to focus on him. That way they'll stop killing the adds. As the fight continues, he will spawn a bunch of Tomberry slashers that will slowly move towards the center of the room. You'll want your party grouping in the center of the room and just burning down the Tomberry King as quickly as possible, as these Tomberry Slashers can one-shot anyone that they hit. So you'll want to kill the boss before they reach the center of the room and start killing your team. And that should be it for the Wanderer's Palace. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If this helped any of you out, then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really does help me out with making more of these videos. I'll catch you in the next one.